Welcome back to Talk of the Town. With one successful restaurant under his belt, the char bar owner, Nick Bergeld, is about to hit another home run in Park Plaza with the introduction of Hilton Head's first gourmet, Taqueria and Tequila Bar, Holy Tequila. Here to share his success story, Nick Bergeld. Nick, welcome back. Thanks so much for having me. So about a year ago, or a little more, Char Bar, and now Holy Tequila. Good for you. Yeah, we're excited about it. Good. Uh, Char Bar's been great, but uh, we couldn't be more excited about the new uh, concept we're about to introduce. So tell us a little bit about the concept. So yeah, it's called Holy Tequila. Yep. Um, and Love that uh, name. That's really <laughs> thank clever. You, thank you. And uh, basically, it's uh, the concept is gourmet quality taco creations. Uh, that mix American flavors, Mexican street food, and lots and lots of tequila in an eclectic, uh, fun atmosphere. So what's going to basically make that different than, say, a regular Mexican restaurant? Sure. So uh, our focus uh, is the same as it's always been, which is really uh, captivating our guests through completely unique dining experiences um, that um, really absorbs them in all the best ways and makes them feel as if they've gone to kind of a, a, a different destination or they're not in Hilton Head. Um, so in that, we've, uh, what we've done is kind of redefined uh, what you can really deliver on a tortilla. Um, we feel that um, by combining like high echelon ingredients, fine dining cooking techniques, we can really uh, change people's expectations about what you can deliver on a taco. And are you going to do anything special with the tequila part? Oh, absolutely. So, uh, <laughs> so the tequila, the food is just uh, the beginning of it, but uh, the tequila is, uh, is frankly uh, a huge part of it. And to be honest, I wasn't a big tequila fan before starting this concept. <laughs> uh, but after spending a lot of time on the tequila farms of Mexico and the different regions, I uh, really began to appreciate tequila uh, more to the likes of wine um, and understanding the subtle nuances between them and uh, really gave me a different perspective on it. So I really feel tequila is like one of the most misunderstood categories out there, or at least that, that was the case for me. Right. And uh, now uh, to share this acquired knowledge that we've, that we've acquired in doing all of our research and everything, uh, we really hope to change people's perceptions on tequila. Um, and that's going to be a big part of what we're doing. Yeah, so. it sounds like a lot of fun. At least it sounds like it's going to be fun to try to, to change those perspectives. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> so why the strict focus on gourmet tacos? Okay, so like I said, tacos is, uh, we feel it's a great vessel to innovate with. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you feel, I, I feel like a lot of uh, traditional Mexican tacos are, you know, people have a certain expectation. Of right. That. So by uh, bringing in uh, the experience of our culinary team and incorporating that fine dining aspect of what we're doing and just maintaining a strict focus on just the taco and then bringing in ingredients that people would never associate with a taco or right. our Mexican cuisine in general, it gives us oppor an opportunity to really wow people and, uh, and get them excited about what we can deliver on, on that taco. So. Uh, we're, we're super excited about that as well. Tell us a little bit about the atmosphere. When people walk in the door, what are they going to feel or see? Sure. Uh, that's the most fun part about what we're doing over there is um, we spend a lot of time in Mexico uh, and really all over the United States, but m importantly, going through hundreds of taquerias in seaside Mexican towns. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we try to do is really recreate a theme that reflects the best qualities of all those. So mm -hmm. bringing in dark, exotic woods and uh, actually importing uh, handcrafted artisan metal lights and clay sculptures and really bringing the best of, uh, of those atmospheres from Mexico into our uh, into ours, which so uh, you feel like just like you said, you're you're somewhere else when you walk in the restaurant. Absolutely, we we really want to make people feel as if they're in a seaside taqueria in Mexico. So How fun. we created an indoor outdoor environment. We blew out a 25 foot storefront, so it's an open air environment mm -hmm. that you're eating in. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a, t a room dedicated to all things tequila. That's a, a tasting room. Right. We've got an exhibition dining room where you can see the chefs hustling and bustling in the background. You can smell. You can hear it. You can yeah. uh, You can you know what you're getting before it comes to the table because you've, you've been sitting there watching it and then uh, like I said the bar side of the restaurant is just an awesome open-air environment it's very fun very friendly very welcoming um, and uh, the decor obviously reflects uh, everything you would expect as if you were sitting in Mexico so. right well it all sounds awesome so when can we dig into some gourmet tacos and specialty tequilas yes uh, <laughs> we are about uh, three weeks away so we're gonna be soft opening in mid-June to the, the community at large um, so, and then uh, beyond that, we'll uh, have about a month of uh, rolling out softly, and then uh, our 
uh, grand. Aptly, ap <laughs> grand opening will be aptly on uh, National Tequila Day on Thursday, July 24th. So Wonderful. We'll have a big party around that one with lots of food and lots of tequila. Can't wait. Nick, much success, and thank you for stopping by. Thank you so much. And we'll be right back with Talk of the Town.